Okay, in this video I'm going to show how we can use FME 2012 to update XML documents. As part of the F, um, XML challenge, one thing that we discovered was we got um, requests from people who said, well, I actually have a whole library of XML documents and I don't want to read them or write them. I simply want to update a few fields in them or add a new um, element to them, things like that. So that um, obviously with our old with FME 2011 that was very difficult to do because um, you know we didn't have the technology to, 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 to do that so we added this new capability called um, the XML updater and so what I'm going to show here is we have a, uh, a metadata document and um, um, and you can imagine users have many, many of these. And what they want to do is they want to um, update them. It could just be a date that um, last time the file was modified. They want to update the meta metadata document to, to update that. They want to change the contact information, perhaps. Or maybe they want to change the abstract. And so, and so what I have here is a simple XML document to illustrate that and to show how easy it is to to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I have a workspace, so I'm not going to build this one from scratch, but I'm going to explain what we're doing here. So we have that document that I just showed, and we want to update a number of things. What I'm going to update is I want to update the res person responsible. Okay, so in this case, we're going to say it's Joe Malone, and we're going to update the abstract, and we're going to update the time. Okay, so how I do that is I simply have, use this XML updater transformer, and um, you can see it's um, it's update type here. There's a number of them. Okay, so what we're going to see is we're going to have to make a bunch of, and we will make a bunch of movies um, talking all about the XML updater and all the various things that it can do. But here I'm just going to say replace contents. There's many different types, and so in the movies what we will do is we will go through all the different types of update type to explain how they're all used. Okay, so in this case I'm going replace contents. What I do next is I simply specify the XML path that I'm going to, to update. Okay, so here um, I'm going to the responsible name is going to go to you know the the individual name character string the abstract I'm going to update and um, the the um, the date okay and the value types you can have plain text or x query okay we're going to use x query as that's the value otherwise it would just take whatever's there and stuff it in the value of the attribute. So if I went plain text, it would just take FME colon and put it there. But I don't want that. I actually want to evaluate this, this retrieve that FME attribute and put it in the values for for each of those. So so and that is essentially it. Okay. And um, you can have multiple um, updates coming in for a document. And that, in that case, because you might have other things going on and you know that um, you, you have multiple updates against the document, but they're not all going to come in on one feature. So you can do that too, where uh, multiple update features go in, each one specifying something different. So I could have had a creator for each of three creators, each going in, updating a different thing as well. And then, of course, you want to make it, you know, you want to make it look good. And so to make it look good, um, we use the XML formatter and I simply say, you know, pretty print to, uh, and that's it. And then I go out. And so now we will run this and um, you will see that there's going to, it's going to update the file and it takes just a minute. There we go. And we go to the output here. And yes, it is today. And if I look at this one in Notepad, you're going to see there's Joe Malone. Um, okay, so, and um, the abstract, if I look for the abstract, okay, okay, where is it? There it is, okay, this data is for test purposes only, it is not to be used for any reason, and the last thing that I updated was the time, okay, so now we look for date stamp, and you'll see, there it is, there's the day, 12-1-10. Okay, perfect. And that is how you use the XML updater. 